Welcome back to STL Live. I'm Sarah Bernard, and my guest is Joe Fowler of the Opera Theater of St. Louis. We were just talking about the 42nd season that's starting um, pretty soon. It's a couple yeah. weeks. So. Yeah. So, all right. So, we um, tell us about the operas um, for this year. Sure. Um, we always do a great mix of um, wonderful classics and important new work. And um, the classics that we're offering this year are Puccini's Madame Butterfly and Mozart's Titus. And uh, if there is a bucket list opera out there, it's Madame Butterfly. Mm -hmm. Puccini had this amazing way of stringing eight notes together and just finding the right notes to make you feel so deeply and so passionately in the audience. It's a story of a a geisha in Japan who falls madly in love with an American sailor and uh, their romance is not meant to last. She just doesn't realize it. Mm -hmm. And the tragic consequences that unfold um, when he leaves her are uh, heartbreakingly beautiful. Mm -hmm. um, the other classic, Mozart's Titus, is this fantastic political thriller. If you watch Scandal, um, this opera is 100% for you. It's mm -hmm. about people who are um, uh, conniving to f make their way to the top in ancient Rome um, and the various love interests that come into play when uh, p politics and romance don't quite line up. Um, it's stunning music. It's the very last opera Mozart wrote and uh, it'll be conducted by our music director Stephen Lord who's been with us now as music director for 25 years. Mm -hmm. He becomes music director emeritus next year so this mm -hmm. will be his last opera as music director and it's going to be a can't miss event. Wow. Yeah. The other two operas in the season are, are more contemporary works. One is The Grapes of Wrath, and that's a story that I think everyone knows a piece of, mm -hmm. having perhaps read the book in high school, but ultimately it's this incredible tale of hope, of family, and the willingness to try to pursue the American dream in the face of incredible odds. Uh, and what's really neat about the score is it features, sort of like your earlier guest, it features great um, Americana and bluegrass instruments. So mm. we've got washboard, fiddle, harmonica, um, all sorts of great music musicians to complement the St. Louis Symphony. Um, and then the last contemporary piece we have is an American premiere by Philip Glass, who's probably one of the, the best known composers living today in the world. Mm -hmm. The piece is called The Trial. It's based on a Kafka story about justice that is turned very much on its head. It's a dark comedy about someone who finds himself uh, asked to stand trial but never told what the crimes are he's been charged with mm -hmm. and how he tries to navigate this system. Um, it, it has some continued resonance today, certainly, but what's nice about the piece is it gives you some room to really laugh while you think through what all of these issues might mean. So. Those are the four operas. Mm -hmm. We also have a great concert called Center Stage, which highlights the young artists that are part of our Young Artists Program. That's a one night only event um, on June the 20th this year. Okay, wow. Well, you um, you make a good uh, story for each other. <laughs> I mean, it's hard, it'd be hard to choose, you know? It's, there's something for everyone. There is. And, and I'd say see them all if you're mm -hmm. not sure which Absolutely, one to come yeah. to. Yeah, well, of course. <laughs> right. That's the, the goal. But I mean, if one couldn't see them all, it would be hard to choose because they all sound so interesting and different, really. Really neat. Okay, so in the past there's been a quote family opera and that's changing this year, right? The whole family outreach. Yes, yeah, so something that we're offering for the first time this year is a new program called Kids Club. So if you are a parent um, and you have children between ages 3 and 12, instead of trying to figure out what opera will f work best with your schedule, at every Saturday matinee this season, we're offering sort of a miniature version of our opera camp program. Um, you drop your children off at noon, the matinee is at one, you enjoy the show, and at the end of the show, you pick up your kids. They will get to spend up to four hours with um, licensed child care providers, as well as opera theater teaching artists, learning about music, learning about theater, um, and having a very fun experience that you can then talk about afterwards with yeah. your family. So it's a day at the opera for everyone, but the kids get their own version, which is really fun and cool and, and exciting for them as well. Exactly. Um, and the teenagers can just go with you to the opera because they will benefit and learn something and enjoy it as well. Exactly. There's nothing in our season this year that wouldn't be appropriate for a 13 year old to come and yeah, enjoy. Perfect. And everything's in English as we said before that's important. Yes. <laughs> Dispel that myth right now. Okay so visit experienceopera.org to purchase tickets or to discover more about this entire season and um, and please go. I mean Joe jo, thank you so much for for being here today. Um, stay with us for at STL Live. We have much more after this.